Hey everybody, be with you in a sec. Everybody, how's it going? All right, don't mind me. I am just sharing this all over Facebook. Say hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Say hello. Let me know how. Uh, um, yeah, it's uh, Big Jim's Blog Cast Live version 4.0, episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. And wait a second, I am going to share this some more. Um, all right, okay. Uh, Give me a minute here. Um, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, all right. So, um, mm -mm. all right. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, all right. So, V A N. All right. Oh, uh, Van Halen forever. Exclusively Van Halen, remembering the original Van Halen. Um, all right, so this crap beer, honest craft beer reviews. All right, so Canada Craft Spirits and Beer, uh, Mag. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, Mag. Okay, all right, uh, who else? Where? Um, the Rolling Stones tattoo you. The Rolling Stones. There we go. Uh, doo -doo. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So, anyways, hey ladies, how's it going? All right. So, um, okay. So, anyways, here we go. All right. Okay. And so, okay, anyways, this is uh, Big Jim's Blogcast Live, if you're out there. Uh, I, yeah, I get it, it's Halloween. I know, I know, hold on a sec. Um, all right, so, let's see, all right, mm -hmm. Jim Brown, okay, so, let's see, share to your story, here we go, share, all right, all right, uh, mm. 
share now to Facebook. All right, to my profile. Yeah, all right. Blogcast party at Sue's, I know. All right. And so, yeah, um, let's see here. Okay, and I want to share this. Send in Messenger, Sarni, Imperial City Brew House. Uh, hmm. Imperial hmm. City Brew House. There we go. Hmm. All right. All right, there we are. Okay. All right. So, anyways, all right, people. Yeah. Um, all right. Devil's Night. I know. I got to watch out for that. Um, let's see here. Can we do any more sharing? Uh, let's see. All right. So, mm, all right. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to switch profiles here. I'm just like, uh, okay. Big Jim Blogcast Live, shared your video, all right, so, okay, so anyways, here we go, <laughs> all right, so, we, more options, okay, all right, okay, okay, share to a group, Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's Halloween night. Um, bloggers blog. Uh, Whiskey Lover Society. Um, mm -hmm. Amityville Horror. Amityville Horror. Amityville Horror. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, who else? Oh, yeah. Jerry Lee Lewis. All right. All right, so mm, hang out. Uh, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, mm, <laughs> okay, Magnum PI. All right, the horror host market. Um, mm, best of nostalgia. All right, so okay. So, anyways, yeah. All right, so now we can. More options. Mm. All right. Share to a group. Uh, all right. Jerry Lee Lewis fan group. All right. So there we go. All right. So here we go, people. All right. Uh, hmm. Okay. One Star Wars group after another. Yeah, but all right. Uh, all right. So, okay. Okay, people. All right. There we are. Okay, we're live. And it is, let me check the notifications here. All right. So, yeah, we're live. Um, hmm. So, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 236. It's Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Um, it is Devil's Night, uh, the eve to Halloween. Yeah, I get it. It's uh, I've got... Uh, relax. So, <coughs> all right. It's the second to last uh, uh, blogcast of, like, 2022. So, I'll explain on that more later on. So, anyways, uh, let me give you the heads up here. Um, I may say a few, a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, fuck. Um, so, bear with me. Get a Kleenex. Go to your safe space because that might happen. So, anyways, yeah, who we are. Let me introduce myself. Welcome to Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode uh, 236, airing on Facebook Live every Sundays, uh, the occasional Friday, the occasional Saturday night. Or once in a while, a wine o'clock Wednesday. We're in our fourth year. We debuted back in November of 2018. We're based out of Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, mm, okay. So, and, well, okay, yeah. So, Big June Blogcast Live, we do craft beer reviews. Over 200 and counting. Tonight's craft beer is comes to us from uh, Sarnia Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. It's called Pumpkin Ale Spiced Beer. We'll get more to that Uh 
and get more on that. Um, anyways, I'm trying it for the very first time here. Um, we pair it up with a good uh, spirit and cigar tonight. We're pairing it up with Appleton Estates uh, Signature Rum. So let me just pour that in there in the in the Big Jim Blogcast Live Cup there. All right. So, okay, here we go. All right. So, and we pair it up with a good cigar. This is a Rocky Patel uh, Connecticut cigar. So, anyways, which reminds me. All right. So, mm, all right. Uh, doo -doo. More options. Share to a group. Uh, doo -doo. Cigar. Uh, all right. Okay. Which reminds me. Okay. Hmm. No. Uh, no. All right. Share. Okay. Share to a group. Hmm. <laughs> all right. There we go. All right. All the. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. We pair it with like a local, with a spirit and a good cigar. Uh, Big, Big Jim Blogcast Live also keeps you informed with like um, uh, uh, local events in and around near you. Birthday shout outs to our friends, which we'll get to. Uh, we talk about like uh, classic TV, like the spinoffs, the one, two, three, and season wonders, uh, canceled TV shows, etc. One hit wonders and classic albums, 70s, 80s, 90s, hard rock, uh, classic guitar duos, classic pro wrestling, like from the 80s, 90s, 70s, like the uh, jobbers, like the enhancement talent, the uh, um, classic tag teams, um, the defunct leagues like the AWA, the NWA, the WCW, um, classic sci-fi like random ships, droids, character, random characters, um, Weapons from Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, this week in Van Halen history, we talk about like our hockey car hero in sports. Uh, we could like uh, 70s, 80s, 90s uh, classic movies, sequels, prequels, etc. Uh, random gong solos like this one. All right, boom. Okay, so yeah. Um, now, uh, that's like uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live in a nutshell. Turn us on, tune in, enjoy the show. Let's keep it fun, light on here. Uh, religion and politics are off limits, so let's keep it respectful. Again, I'm going to remind everybody tonight that Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live airs later on on all of these, like uh, Spotify, Anchor FM, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube, and all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to. Want to say hi to everybody that this podcast, these groups, the podcast is posted in, like all the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, like Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock, um, uh, Chain Reaction, uh, all the pop culture groups, the retro classic nostalgia groups, um, the crap beer, cigars, the Star Wars groups, the pro wrestling groups, all the classic TV and movies tonight, and tonight the Rolling Stones, Ricky Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis. Tom Selleck, the Amityville Horror uh, groups, uh, right on. And so, um, all right, so anyways, all right, can I get, all right, uh, share now, let's see, okay, share with group, um, yeah, so, hmm, hmm, okay, oh, hmm, all right. Uh, mm. All right. So yeah, doing some more sharing here. Uh, okay. Music and memories. Uh, pop culture fans. There we go. Um, all right. So. Mm, all right. Okay, so here we go, Magnum PI Fan Club. Um, all right. Okay, so, okay. Um, 80s Retro Station, 
It's the 5150 show. All right. So, all right. There we go. Okay. Cool. Good enough for me. All right. So, yeah. Well, we'll get to our craft beer review in a minute. Like, uh, we're going to get to some birthday shout outs, countdowns, local events. Tonight on tap, we've got the uh, classic 1979 anime, um, hit, suitable for Halloween movies, uh, the Amityville Horror. I've got it right up there on the screen, playing it right now. The. Uh, Final season of Magnum P.I., season 8, the Magnum's Last Ride. Uh, classic uh, obscure WWF tag team, The Power and the Glory. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, random sci-fi, random Empire Strikes Back character, Dak Ralter. I'll go into that more. Hockey car hero, Christian Dvorak. Rockstar playing crashes, Ricky Nelson. Our classic album, Emotional Rescue by the Rolling Stones. This week in Van Halen history. And we remember... We remember the killer, Jerry Lee Lewis, who recently passed away. All right, so get to that. All right, so anyways, all right, now we get to our craft beer review here. So uh, first of all, i got to light something up here. i got to light my cigar up. Mm, mm, okay. All right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, I'm going to put this over here. All right, so where are my lighters? All right, there's my lighter. All right. <coughs> All right, I just got to get used to this. Um, if you're like uh, here, say hi. Um, yeah, all right, so... Our craft beer for tonight, and I'm chasing it down with Appleton like uh, Estate uh, Signature Rum uh, in the Big Jim Vlogcast Live mug. All right. Cold as it's... Uh, all right. Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm trying it for the very first time. If anybody else out there from Imperial City is watching, I've got your pumpkin ale spiced beer, and it's a Hall they, they figure it's a Halloween beer. All right. Before I open this, let me read the back here. Um... The ingredients, okay, brown sugar, real pumpkin, cinnamon, uh, cloves, mm, hops, yeast, all right, uh, nutmeg, all right, so here we go, okay, um, all right, so anyways, like I said, trying it for the very first time, so if it's got all that in it, it could be a real adventure, plus I've got their glass, so let's see how this pours first of all, okay, all right, all right. Okay, a little bit dark there. All right. So there we go. Um, it is. Okay. Now, Imperial City Pumpkin Ale Spiced Beer. Um, I'm trying it for the very first time. And now let me uh, explain to people that when I try this beer for the very first time, I'm like, uh, you know, I don't mince words. I don't go all, all fancy like, oh, well, you know, this beer is very exquisite. No, I don't. I uh, say go with my gut. So here it goes. All right. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. A little bit sweet. A little bit sweet taste in there. Mm. Mm. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Mm. All right. Um, I get a handle on it. It takes me all... I, I'm not, I just don't do instant, you know. It's got to grow on me during the blogcast. It should take, like, the next two hours. Um, so if you're still here within the end, like, I give it a rating out of 10 later on. So if your number, like, uh, matches up with mine, do so. Feel free to throw out numbers later on in the blogcast if you're still here. Mm. Mm. It's definitely a fall beer. Definitely an October beer. I'll tell you that. Mm. All right. Spice beer. Where's that other can? Yeah. Uh, by the Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. So, all right. And I'm chasing it down with, like, uh, blended scotch whiskey there. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. Appleton Estate Signature Rum, and wow, does it ever give me a good kick. All right. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Whoa. You can never... Mm. 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 <coughs> all 
All right. So, and if you want to share this blogcast, feel free to do so. This is a Rocky Patel, Connecticut cigar. Mm. <coughs> all right. So we're going to get to some birthday shout-outs here now. Um, all right. So, all right. So we will get to some countdowns. We'll get to the local events. Um, all right. Let's get to our birthday shout-outs. All right. From October 24th to the 30th, all the way up to today. Um, all right. So, all right. Tyler William Scott. John Sawzuck. If I'm saying these names correctly. Uh, Stacy Lecky. Dave Rankin. Shannon Foster Dunn, Rick Dahl, Terry Bartley, Sandra Coolis, Michelle Walker, Matt Piskin, Rob Ladenchuk, Karen McKaig, Ron Antimore, Jason Boyd, Linda Allett, Kerry Scott Brooks, Cindy Durston, Shelley Dudgeon, Matthew Kersey, and Emma Willie. Happy birthday, Emma. I tried to do that in an ominous Halloween ish tone. So, all right. Happy birthday, everybody, from Big Jim Blogcast Live. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Mm, okay, so, mm. all right, so anyways, yeah, mm. 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 <coughs> oh, excuse me, all right, so tonight's cigar is a Rocky Patel vintage, um, all right, so, mm. okay, so anyways, um, all right, so, Mm, okay, uh, Bob Scares Bob Productions, there we go. Um, mm, all right, so, uh, okay, so, mm -hmm. all right, don't mind me, uh, WWF Classic, uh, do, do, do. all right, so, Hard Rock, All Metal, okay, hmm. Rolling Stones, no stopping. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. I saw a Sarnia group in there. Um, mm. mm -hmm. Hairspray Heaven. Okay. 80s Retro. Uh, all right. The Ultimate Van Halen's Fan Club. All right. So. Hmm. 1962 to now. All right, so. All right. Hmm. <coughs> so yeah. Hmm. All right. So anyways. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so anyways, yeah, um, hmm, all right, so, yes, all right, so anyways, uh, I was just busy sharing groups, all right, so yeah, um, yeah, we just had our happy birthday, everybody, from Big Jim's Blogcast Live, I hope that your birthdays were like, um, you got everything you wanted, uh, especially people that celebrated their birthdays today, all, it's Devil's Night, the eve to like, uh, precursor to Halloween, so anyways, yeah, um, mm. Mm. <coughs> we are going to get to some countdowns here, so you may not like what you hear over the next two seconds with winter approaching, all right, so anyways, uh, here we go with some countdowns, and I'll do that in the Halloween tone, Christmas is 56 days away, New Year's is 62 days away. Boxing Day is 57 days away. Remembrance Day is 12 days away. 
Daylight savings time is Sunday, November 6th. Um, Halloween is one day away. And winter, I know you don't want to hear this, nobody wants to hear this, but winter is 52 days away. Okay, so anyways, yeah. Sorry, but yeah, that's the reality. I hope everybody's enjoying this nice fall weather because you know I'll know what comes next. So, mm. Mm. all right. Okay, so we'll do that. Next, we'll, we'll get to some local events, but tonight's craft beer, for anybody watching, um, especially in, um, in Sarnia Imperial City Brew House, uh, let's see here. Um, let's see, okay. Hmm. All right, so if anybody's there right now, um, it's already Imperial City Brew House. I got your pumpkin ale spiced beer here. I'm chasing it down with like uh, Apple Estate Signature Rum. Um, all right, okay, so I hear, mm, mm. oh yeah, all right. So yeah, all right, and mm. all right, let me top that up. Oh God, I'm trying it for the very first time. Um, it's your how look at that they got a witch on a broomstick there um and there's plenty of well yes there's plenty of exotic ingredients in here cinnamon cloves nutmeg hops real pumpkin and brown sugar malted barley it is a sweet tasting beer i'll give them give them that mm. Mm. and i'm beginning to taste the nutmeg and the, uh, and the cinnamon in here so um yeah so if anybody wants to pipe in comment I do give it a rating out of 10 later on the blog cast, so if you're like still around, sticking around, throw it a number, see if it jives up with mine. Um, all right, so anyways, yeah. So I know everybody got their Halloween parties last night. Everybody went to their Halloween parties, I know. Um, hmm. Hmm. <coughs> all right. So my cigar is a Rocky Patel Vintage Connecticut. Um, cigar so anyways uh yeah um now as we get to some local events here um a while back <coughs> covid really sidelined a, lo a lot of local local events and near you actually big jim broadcast live does go beyond canada and the u.s we are now worldwide uh we're watched in like uh uh, Japan, we're watched in like uh, Europe, we're watched in like uh, Africa, we're watched in Mexico, um, and all the other like uh, the Orient, like J Japan, China, uh, Ireland. Um, so I'll give a shout out to all these worldwide uh, fans that are like watching Big Jim Vlogcast live. So yeah, like I said, the, buzz the buzzwords for like uh, a while back when COVID was all like, uh, when you had to wear a mask and all that, hiatus, rescheduled, canceled, postponed, but not anymore. So here we go with like some like uh, local events here. All right. Um, all right, gong time. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So there we go. Uh, now, uh, Saturday, November 12th, 2022 is Judas Priestess. Um, they are at Rustic and Sarnia. They're an all-female tribute band at Judas Priest. So, get go to www.ticketscene.ca. Mm. 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 <clears throat> um, from the whole month of November, our Saturday night dances, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Sarnia Legion downstairs. It's a seven-dollar cover charge. Um, classic rock and country at 286 Front Street North. So you might want to check that out on some Saturday night. Uh, Saturday, November 19th, 8 p.m., Killer Dwarfs, 40 years still standing to her at Rustic, www.ticketscene.ca. Saturday, November 5th, 8 p.m., it's uh, a Pink Floyd tribute band, Have a Cigar, at Rustic, again, www.ticketscene.ca. Um, Friday, November 4th, 7.30 p.m., 89 next, the band at Sarnia Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, of course. Saturday, November 12th, Chain Reaction, you guys. You guys rock. Glenn and the Boys and Chain Reaction, best band out there. Sarnia Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia. Dirt Cheap, a tribute band to uh, ACDC. They will they rock uh, the house at Jeannie Gordon Hall in Wallaceburg. 
Saturday, February 18th, 2023, at $20 per person. Um, Wednesday, November 16th, 8 p.m., True Fire at Eastside Bar and Grill in London at 750 Hamilton Road. Uh, I saw True Fire this past summer at Stevie D's. Awesome band. Mm. Mm. All right. So, um, okay. So, anyways, yeah. Saturday, November 5th, 9 p.m., Rumblefish at the band at Twisted Arm in Sarnia. So, great band there. You got, like, guys... Awesome local bands like Chain Reaction, Rumblefish, uh, Cold South. So, um, yeah. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, okay. So, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, before we get going, all right. Before we get into the Amityville Horror and all that, um... I want to remind everybody, and I'm going to remind everybody all night, that this podcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on uh, Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to, and my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live YouTube. So, yeah, uh, like us, share up, subscribe to us. I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the uh, Sarnia, Port Elgin groups, um, Chain Reaction, uh, Sarnia rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Uh, give my best to Al. Um, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia, 70s, 80s, 90s groups. All the classic rock, Van Halen groups. Um, the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling. All the classic TV and movies. Rolling Stones, Ricky Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Magnum P.I., Amityville Horror for tonight. Yes. So, all right. Uh, and the craft beer. And I'm chasing it down with, like, uh, Apple and Estate Signature Rum um, in my own uh, blog cat mug. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. The craft beer for tonight, it is called Pumpkin Ale Spice Beer by the uh, Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, right here. So I had to. I had to grab it. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I get it's Halloween. It's a devil's, devil's night and all that shit, and, you know. Um, all right. And later I'll get to my favorite, like, uh, um, one, two, three, four, five, six movies I reviewed or will review, uh, horror movies later on in the show. Um, but yeah, I'm trying this for the very first time. Mmm. Mmm. A little bit sweet, a little bit, you know, right away I can tell it's a good fall beer. Um, and with the ingredients on the back, uh, uh, let's see. You got brown sugar. You got. I can taste the brown sugar. I can taste the cinnamon. Uh, I can taste the nutmeg in it. Uh, very, a little bit sweet. There's no, I often like no little tangy aftertaste to it. You know, just uh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. And I do give it a rating. And I brought back up too. One more can. All right. So I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here still around and you want to throw out a number see if it like matches up with mine feel free to do so all right mm. <coughs> all right so anyways now we get to our uh our team our, our 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 movie here it's called amityville horror mm. all right as you can see that there you go and uh yeah um I've got the DVD in. I've got the movie in right now. Um, it was released July 27th, 1979 on a budget of $4.7 million. Its box office was successful. Uh, the ca- uh, $87 million at the box office. Holy shit. So, anyways. All right. So. All right. So, here we go. We've got. And, yeah. So, the cast... James Brolin is George Lutz. Margot Kidder is Kathleen Lutz. Um, Rod Steiger is fa- Father Francis. Uh, Don Stroud is Father Bowen. Uh, Murray Hamilton is Father Ryan. Casey Martell is uh, Craig Lutz. Uh, Mino Pelusa is Matt Lutz. Now, plot prem- premise, it was based on the true story and book of the same name, Amityville Horror. Um, of course, here's the cast. James Brolin and Margot Kidder. Margot Kidder you might recognize from... All right. 
you might recognize her from the Superman films. The first Superman, all these Superman films. So, all right. So, anyways, it was based. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, November 13th, Ronald DeFeo Jr. That's this gentleman right here. Um, all right. So, he murders his entire family with a rifle in the home of 112 Ocean Avenue in Amityville, New York. Um, one year later, uh, George and Kathleen Lutz move in with their three children, Craig, Matt, and Amy. They get farther delayed to uh, bless the property. The couple discover that through a series of events that this house was possessed, haunted by demons, voices that tell family to leave the property. Pretty scary. Like I've said, I've got it on right now up there. So, um, it, uh, yeah, um, there's a room full of flies. Uh, the daughter Amy has like, uh, an imaginary, uh, friend, blood oozing from the walls. Every member of the family has nightmares. George and Lutz, uh, they read about the DeFeo uh, murders and decide that, uh, and they discover that a Satan worshiper once lived on the land. The Lutzes, long story short, they like uh, abandon their home and drive away. The ending reads, the Lutzes, never, the Lutzes never recovered their house or their personal belongings. And now they live in another state. Well, okay. So, all right. So anyways, um, yeah. George and Kathleen Lutz have since passed on, but here's the principal cast. Look at the, that house. Isn't that a spooky house? Holy shit. So, there you go. Uh, special features on this DVD, like, um, for God's sake, Get Out, Radio Spots, the original theatrical trailer. Um, all right. So, there it is. Uh, James Brolin, like, oh my God. Like, when he read the script... When he, after reading the novel, the script was like uh, scared shitless to take on this role, but he uh, he relented. Margot Kidder was the same way. Um, both of them actually visited the real home, like of uh, of One Twelve Ocean Avenue in Amityville, and they both got the heebie-jeebies, the, the chills. Like, I mean, I was just talking about this with my girlfriend uh, a couple hours ago about moving into a, a house which occupied occupied by a recently dead person. Yeah, not gonna happen. You know, um, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, like I, uh, yeah, and here's like, uh, Mr. DeLutz, uh, I, he passed away in prison of unknown causes, um, there you go, there's like, uh, the, uh, okay, there's the, uh, there's, there's the cast right there, like, uh, James Brolin and Margot Kidder as George and Kathleen Lutz, um, and, uh, yeah, so you might recognize her, like I said. And there's the uh, there's the murderer himself, Ronald DeFeo. Um, all right. And so, yeah, I, I posted several clips from the movie, plus the theatrical trailer on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So like it, share it, look for it. Boom. All right. So anyways, yeah. Fuck. Pretty scary movie so far. I'm halfway through it. <clears throat> All right, I'm I'm just halfway through the movie right now. Um, all right, so yeah. Uh, all right, so. All right. Yeah, it was like. Uh, yeah, I read the like the uh, the documentary like like the the. the um, I saw a video interview online with James Brolin and uh, Margot Kidder about like stepping into the roles of George and Kathleen Lutz and walking into that house gave them like the creeps, like the heebie-jeebies, and it's you know perfect. Uh, actually, good good Halloween movie. All right, later on I'll like uh, tell you about like my one, two, three, four, five. I've got six movies on hand here suitable for Halloween viewing. So, yeah, that is the Amityville Horror. Um, I did post, like, the trailer and several clips from the movie on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. Boom. All right. So, yeah, look for it. Mm. 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 
<clears throat> and I remember myself, um, what, what we got here? Um, so I remember myself reading, reading that novel and I was scared. Holy shit. It's like, fuck. It's like, it, uh, if you've ever get a chance to come across the novel, read it. You'll get a good scare. Like, holy shit. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do Big Jim Blogcast Live. All right. Uh, do a switch the page. Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, well, we'll, we'll switch back. Um, all right. We'll switch back. All right. See all profiles. There we go. Um, yeah. Hmm. All right. Okay, so. All right. Yeah, I know. The movie scares the, the hell out of me, too. So, all right. We've got it. Yeah, all right. So, mm, mm. all right. So, anyways, yeah. That was Big Jim Block, like uh, the Amityville Horror. Just yeah, if you get get a chance to local, lo if you come across the uh, novel, go get it. Like like get it, read it. It'll scare the shit out of you. Like the the odd the version, and it's like, yeah. Um. All right. So, it is Big Jim Podcast Live version 4.0 episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I've got a good cigar in my hand. It is a uh, Rocky Patel, uh, Connecticut, uh, from the Riverfront uh, mm, Cigar Shop in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Uh, my craft beer every night is accompanied by Apple and Estate signature, like uh, rum, Jamaican rum. All right, so, mm, oh yeah, mm, mm. oh yeah. Uh, we've got pumpkin ale spice beer. Our beer for tonight, and I'm trying it. It's it's for the very first time here. It's called like uh, spiced ale, or no, it's pumpkin ale spiced beer by the Imperial City Brewhouse in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. And I gotta tell you, it's a fall beer. Mm. Just tasting it, a little bit sweetness there. You gotta see it, see it to believe it. There is brown sugar in this. There's real pumpkin. There's real cinnamon. There's real cloves. There's real nutmeg, hops, yeast. Um, it's definitely a little sweet. There's no te there's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Mm. Mm. But it's a good bonfire fall beer, you know, so seasonal. Um, and I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if your number jibes up with mine, like, uh, feel free to do so. Feel free to throw in a number out there. Um, I welcome you to come say hi, leave a comment. Um, yeah. Mm. 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 All right. So. Again, it is Pumpkin Ale Spiced Beer um, by the Imperial City Brew House. Great little brewery uh, right in Sarnia. Um, and they've got a history of uh, a track record of great beers by Big Jim Blogcast Live. So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. <coughs> All right. So, and I'm going to remind everybody as I do all through the blogcast. This blogcast is not spam. All right. If you're watching, this blogcast will go out later on tonight, the audio version on Spotify, Anchor, um, all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. Um, I want to give shouts out to everybody watching in the uh, Port Elgin Sarnia groups, especially Chain Reaction, Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you guys rock. Um, all the like uh, pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups, 70s, 80s, 90s, all the hard rock, hair metal, Van Halen, Rolling Stones groups, all the craft beer, cigars, all the Star Wars groups, pro wrestling groups, classic TV and movies, uh, Rick Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., and Amityville Horror. So, all right, so here we go. We have the final season the very final season of magnum pi um season eight magnum's last ride um now all right so anyways we have yeah uh now 
Um, all right. So Magnum PI. All right. Um, get down a few pictures here. Here is the principal cast for Magnum PI. Now, uh, cast Tom Selleck is Thomas Magnum. Larry Manetti is Rick Wright. John Hillerman is Jonathan Higgins. Roger E. Mosley is T.C. Calvin. Um, the season eight debuted for 13 episodes. Uh, CBS put it debuted on October 7th, 1987 to May 1st, 1988. Um, now, guest stars. I had lots of guest stars this last season. Gregory Sierra, Eileen Brennan, Celeste Holm, George Coe, Carol Burnett, Shavar Ross, Alana Reed, Eugene Roche. Um, like I said, CBS de uh, debuted the final season of Magnum P.I. on Wednesday, October 7th, 1987, in the 8 p.m., 9 p.m. time slot. Um, the key episodes here. Um, all right. So we're looking at it. Uh, all right. So we've got... All right, so now, all right, we got all the key episodes in here. The bit, the key episodes, uh, Infin Infinity and Jelly Donuts. Um, it uh, Magnum wakes up from his coma. Um, hmm. um it uh, Pleasure Principle, like Magnum begins to act and dress like Higgins. Uh, Tigers fan. Uh, and Magnum investigates the murder of his friend Lieutenant Tanaka, who was shot to death. Um, see, forever in time. Uh, Magnum becomes infatuated with a beautiful young woman while helping Higgins with, like, a, a Hawaiian pageant. Um, unfinished business. Due to insufficient evidence, the indictment against Kang Kui is dismissed. And Magnum's ex-wife and daughter finds himself in mortal danger. Um, mm, forever in time. Mm, all right. So let's see. Uh, do, 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 okay. Do, do the Great Hawaiian Adventure Company. Magnum's I idea for a lucrative business must be put on hold while TC's troubled son lands in jail. Um, and... Mm, Resolutions, or no, wait a minute. Transitions, episode uh, number 11. Magnum helps Higgins try to locate Robin Master's stolen manuscript and receive some unwanted assistance from Private Eye Luther Gillis. And Resolutions, part one and two. Um, mm. It's the season finale, the last, the last two episodes of Magnum P.I. Forever. During a visit to his family in Virginia, Magnum receives a phone call that sends him Rushing back to a wife to find romance, suspense, danger, maybe the even true identity of Robin Masters. So, um, the series ends with Magnum and his daughter Lily walking down the beach hand in hand. After the end credits, Magnum is watching TV, and this has never been done in TV before. And it gives me the goosebumps. Whoa, holy shit. Um, the screen, Magnum turns to look at the camera, and he goes, after saying goodnight, Clicks the remote control, and the screen goes black. So, ending Magnum PI forever. So, now, all right. So, anyways, I'll put these back in here. Mm. So, yeah, um, CBS, there we go. That's the end of Magnum PI. Now, the end of Magnum PI. So, um, now, it's competition. Now, okay, there's here's some more stills from it. There's Rick's wedding. Um, there he is in full dress, uh, reinstated back into the Navy as rank of commander. Um, all right, now CBS, they put Magnum PI. Here's the schedule, the primetime network schedule for 1987-88. They put Magnum PI in Wednesday nights, because it was getting clobbered. They moved it last season. In season seven, they moved, CBS moved it to Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. because it was getting clobbered by the, uh, by the, um, by the Cosby Show and Family Ties. So, um, here we go. So, in the fall, you had, like, uh, all right. So, anyways, all right, here's our chart. We have Magnum P.I. in the spring for the fall. Spring, Jake and the Fat Man, The Equalizer, and then NBC had Highway to Heaven, starring uh, 
Michael Landon, and then ABC had Hooperman. So, anyways, I mean, I think I've got these shows kicking around here. So here we go with like, uh, all right, had, uh, all right, here was Jake and the Fat Man. All right, so, do, 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 do. all right, so, all right. Hmm. Jake and the Fat Man, the equalizer uh, for the summer, all right, on CBS. And then over at NBC, you had Highway to Heaven. And if you notice, that uh, there's the uh, Goodwill Media on the, this right here. I, I yeah, I pick most of these shows up at uh, Goodwill. I mean, they're like uh, yeah. So again, um, there's the uh, lineup for the 1987-88 primetime network schedule. Um, all right, so take a good look at that. CBS at Magnum PI. Its competition was NBC's Highway to Heaven. And ABC's like Cooperman. So, and plus, um, hold on here. Um, hmm. Hmm. <coughs> All right. So, hmm. okay. Magnum, uh, the final seasons ends giving Magnum PI a rank of 40 based out of like 100 shows. Uh, with a Nielsen rating of 14.4. Now that means approximately 21 million viewers were watching uh, Magnum PI this season, which is, I think, a pretty good time for Magnum PI to bow out uh, before you know, if, you know, if CBS and and the producers of Magnum PI made the right call by like ending Magnum PI in the 1987 in its eighth season. So, all right. So yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. So, there we go. Hmm. All right. So, hmm, yeah. All right. Boom. And I did post uh, the uh, end credits in that scene where, ta where Magnum gets the remote control and clicks saying, good night, everybody. And so, all right. Um, they're on my blogcast page and my uh, personal Facebook page, so look for it. Uh, Share it, like it. Um, yeah. All right. Boom. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> this is a Rocky Patel cigar from uh, the Riverfront uh, Cigar Company in uh, Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Which reminds me, Riverfront. Um, send in messenger. All right. So. Mm. Riverfront Cigars, there we go, all right, there we go, all right, so they should be happy I sent that video to them, all right, um, before we get into our classic tag team, um, show, uh, tonight's craft beer, and I'm accompanying it by like, uh, oh yeah, I gotta show you guys this, I got, this is called the Growler, it is your Ontario craft beer guide, pick it up, it's got every, um, every, uh, Every uh, craft brewery in it, ex with the exception of the Point Brewery and New, it's updated. Uh, it uh, it's Volume Four, Issue One, so it's got all these craft beer, craft breweries in it. Uh, their rank, rating, uh, their description, what they serve. Um, not, so pick it up. Um, all right. So, anyways, uh, tonight's craft beer. I'm accompanied by by uh, Apple Estate Signature Jamaican Rum. Um, Mm, all right, so, mm, mm. oh yeah, <laughs> that that is uh, that is pretty potent rum. Tonight's craft beer, um, it comes to us. I'm trying it for the very first time. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, it is called pumpkin ale spiced beer, and it is really spiced up by the Imperial City Brewhouse in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, now, it's a good fall beer. Good, good fall beer, bonfire beer, good devil's night beer. Mm. Mm. It's got no unpleasant aftertaste. It is very sweet. It's a little bit sweet because they've got like uh, real pumpkin in it, real brown sugar, real cinnamon, real cloves, nutmeg, 
So it's a, it's different. It's very different. And I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if you're still here and you want to like uh, throw out a number by the, by the time I do, then feel free to do so. And I brought a backup one too because, you know, you never know. I don't want to run out. So there you go. Um, there, there it is. Oh, look at that. Good Halloween. Like, yeah, I know. I know that it's Halloween. Tomorrow's Halloween. I know that it's Devil's Night right now. Um, I just posted a sign on my door saying, Blogcast, don't disturb, and do not can. I do not have any candy. For any of those you uh, trick-or-treaters that want to, like, uh, knock on doors and get candy, fine. Go someplace else. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. All right. Gong time. Okay. Oh. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, um, as I'm going to remind everybody tonight that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. Plus, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Broadcast Live at YouTube, on YouTube. Um, give shouts out to everybody watching in the. Sarnia Port Elgin groups, uh, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, um, all the crap, like um, Chain Reaction, you guys, Glenn and the Boys, great band, kick ass band. All the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, um, 70s, 80s, 90s, all the uh, hard rock, hair metal, classic rock, Van Halen groups, all the crap beer and cigars, all the like uh, Star Wars groups, all the pro wrestling. Uh, classic TV and movies, plus the Rolling Stones, Ricky Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., and the Amityville groups, right on. So, all right. So, yeah, okay. And uh, I've got a Riverfront, you're watching. This is a cigar from you. Uh, it is the Rocky Patel, Connecticut. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Good cigar there. So, mm, all right. And so, yeah. Mm. All right, people. Um, now we get to our tag team. Mm. Our, mm. All right. This is, all right. So I'll just lay these out here. This is the power and the glory. They debuted, okay, that is Hercules Hernandez and Paul Roma. They debuted in July of 1990 in the WWE. Hercules, six foot one inch. Paul Roma, five foot eleven. Combined weight of five hundred and nineteen pounds. Um, now, okay, hold on here. Fuck. All right. Uh, uh, all right. So, um, now, all right. So, um, yeah. So, all right. Uh, okay. Now, Paul Roma, in 1990, had come off the breakup of his previous tag team, the Young Stallions, with Jim Powers. Um, he was paired up with Hercules Hernandez, uh, being assaulted by the ring by the, by the Rockers. Um, still no name. They had a brief feud with the, with the Killer Bees, this tag team. All right. So, mm. all right. So, uh, they got a new manager, Slick. Uh, he named them the power and the glory. They beat Marty Jannetty at SummerSlam 1990. Uh, Marty Jannetty was on his own. Shawn Michaels was, like, uh, injured with a knee. Uh, continuing to feud with the Rockers. They also feuded with the WWE Tag Team Champions, the Hart Foundation. But they never got the tag team goal. Uh, power and glory. Um, they lost to the Legion of Doom. At WrestleMania 7 in 59 seconds. And so, um, all right. So, Power and Glory teamed up with the Warlord. Uh, I do not, okay, with the Warlord. Um, for a series of six-man tag team matches. The last pay-per-view with Power and Glory and the Warlord. They lost to Ricky Steamboat, Kerry Von Erich, and Davey Boy Smith at SummerSlam 91. Their last WWF match was against the Legion of Doom. All right, um, and then well, so okay, so uh, Paul Roma would leave the WWE in October of 1991. He would join WCW, 
and become a member of the Four Horsemen. All right, the original Four Horsemen there. Um, there is uh, Ric Flair, there is Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and there is Ole Anderson. So, um, there you go. Um, do, 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 do. Um, all right, so... Hmm. Now, Hercules would leave after Paul Roma. Now, sadly, Hercules passed away March 6, 2004 of heart disease. Paul Roma would go on to form a tag team with uh, the late Paul Orndorff called Pretty Wonderful. Uh, more on that later on or, uh, in, a, in, a, in another blogcast. So, um, and I did post a couple of their matches and their promos on my regular Facebook page and my blogcast page. So look for it, share it, like it. Um, there you go. So, all right. So, mm, okay. Mm, all right. Okay. So. All right. Okay. So, yeah. Power and the glory. Um, there you go. So, no, oh, what do we got here? All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I did post several of their, like, uh, promos and matches on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. So, look for it. Uh, share it. All right. So, hmm. 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 All right. <coughs> All right. A little gong time there. All right. So, yeah. Um, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236. It is Sunday, October, uh, October 30th, 2022. Um, yeah. Uh, it is Devil's Night. I do not have any candy. Do not... For all the trick-or-treaters out there, I posted a sign on my door saying, Do not knock. I do not have any candy. Go someplace else. Okay. Bluntly as I can say it. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah. All right. Like that. All right. Mm. All right. So, mm. okay. All right. Um, and uh, tonight's craft beer, it's being accompanied by... Uh, Apple Estate signature uh, Jamaican rum mm. in my uh, blogcast cup here. Mm. 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 Oh, God. Yeah. All right. And we've got, like, uh, tonight's craft beer is pumpkin ale, spiced beer led by the Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, I'll just top this up. Mm. All right. So, anyways. I'm trying it for the very first time here. Now, so far, so good. All right. So, it has got nutmeg, cinnamon. Um, it has got, like, uh, real pumpkin in it. And what else does it have? Uh, cloves. Mm, brown sugar. Malted barley. Mm. <clears throat> it is definitely a good uh, fall beer. Yeah, good, good beer for October. Um... Yeah, there's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Really goes down smooth. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. Um. Mm. I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. I even got their their their. I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here, here's their mug. Here's their their glass. And so. All right. So anyways. Yeah. I give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if your number sides to, just jibes up with mine, feel free to do so. Feel free to throw in a number there. Uh, I don't know, Ann. I don't know. Mm. Mm. <coughs> um, good Cigar is a Rocky Patel, Connecticut. From I got this at the Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. So, hmm. Mm. 
<coughs> All right. So, mm, yeah. All right. For God's sakes, get out. As I say, it is Devil's Night. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236. We are uh, Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Um, it is Devil's Night. Tomorrow is actually Halloween. So um, to all you trick-or-treaters out there, I do not have candy. I posted that on my on my door. Go away. Knock somebody somewhere else. So please do. Um, yeah. And so, all right. Um, yeah, and I'm going to remind everybody tonight that this blogcast, we are not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, uh, including my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live YouTube on YouTube. So look for it, like us, share it, subscribe to us. Again, we're not spam. So shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Oak and Sarnia groups. Um, the like, uh, Sarnia, especially Sarnia rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, all the like uh, chain reaction the band like glenn and the boys great band there great killer kick-ass band uh all the retro classic nostalgia 70s 80s 90s pop culture groups um all the hard rock hair metal van halen groups uh, all the craft beer cigars star wars sci-fi pro wrestling blogspot uh the rolling stones rick nelson jerry lee lewis tom Selleck, magnum pi amityville horror right on so um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to give it that, and So, I mean, my sister from another mother. All right. So, anyways. Okay. Mm. All right. So. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. All right. So, anyways, now we get to our, like, uh, our sci-fi guy, our random science fiction character. All right. So if you've watched, if you, and who hasn't here, who, who hasn't among us, like, uh, watched The Empire Strikes Back? His name is Dak Ralter. And, uh, yeah, he was from the planet Callist 5 and served as a pilot in the Rebellion during the Galactic Civil War. He was a very young, ideal young man. He joined the Rebel Alliance and was a member of Rogue Squadron. Um, and, uh, he was stationed on Hoth and very excited to be working with his hero, Luke Skywalker. All right. So there we go. There's Luke Skywalker. There they are. Uh, there's a still from the movie Empire Strikes Back. Uh, before teaming for battle, uh, before leaving for the battle, like to take on all those ad at walkers and shit like that, Luke asked him, how do you feel? And his quote, Right now, I could feel like I could take on the whole empire myself. Exactly how I feel. So they went to battle, right? Uh, Luke positioned uh, his first attack run in front of the Adat walkers. Um, all right. So, anyways, okay. Here we go. Here's hmm. Hmm. all right. So there we are. Um, Adat walkers. They're in the they're in the snow speeder right on. So if you ever, all right, I'll open that up. There's like uh, where Luke Skywalker was, and there would be where Dak would be in the back there, harpoon gunner and all that. Um, now they went to battle. Luke went uh, wanted to make his first attack in front of the Adat walkers, uh, but the snow speeder aft section took a direct hit from the Adats laser guns, killing Dak instantly. The snow speeder was shot down, um, and of course Luke got out. He tried to rescue Dak, but um, there we go. There's Dak. Um, he tried to rescue Dak, but he couldn't, and the body was crushed under the Adat Walker's giant foot. Boom! All right, and he was crushed to death by the Adat Walker's giant foot pad. So there you go. Uh, that's our uh, random character. There's the harpoon gun on the back of the uh, snow speeder there. If you can see that, right on. So, all right. There's a close up. It looks intimidating. Ooh, right on. Whoa. Okay. So, all right. Um, flying there. Boom. It, 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 what a way to die in Empire Strikes Back. 
Uh, he's stu stuck in the snow. He tries to rescue, like, uh, like Dak. Luke Skywalker tries to rescue Dak and then couldn't. And then with the Adat -Ad walkers approaching, the big boom, boom. So he gets crushed to death. End of story. Game over for Dak. Right on. Okay. No, well, no. It, it sucks. It really sucks to be like uh, Dak. So, all right. So there's Dak. There's his hero, Luke Skywalker. Uh, yeah, all right. So this is the scene before there. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. And I posted, like, uh, more of uh, Dak Ralter's backstory on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. So look for it. Uh, like it, uh, you know. So right on. Mm. Boom. All right, a little gong time there. Mm. 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 All right. Mm. All right. <coughs> All right. Excuse me. So, anyways, yeah, good cigar. Uh, got it. It's a Rocky Patel, Connecticut. I got it from the Riverfront Cigar Company in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. 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 All right. So, all right, my craft beer for today. I'm pairing it up with like uh, uh, Apple Estates uh, Signature Jamaican Rum. Um, good, good mix tonight. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. So, this is called Pumpkin Ale Spice Beer. Now, if you're a regular watcher of Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, like a few people I know, um, I do not like give it an instant review, just instant rating. It's got to grow on me during the blogcast. Like I don't go, well, this beer tastes very exquisite and very like uh, you know, very uh, just. Mm. I don't get all hoity-toity. I go with my gut on it. So tonight's craft beer, um, yeah, it is called Pumpkin Ale Spice Beer by Imperial City Brewhouse. Right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. And I've got their mug. Um, mm. Mm. Definitely spicy. Definitely you can see that you can, it's got nutmeg in it. It's got cloves. Um, it's got uh, um, mm. uh, cinnamon, uh, brown sugar in it. And it's definitely a little bit of sweetness to it. There's no unpleasant aftertaste. Mmm. Mmm. It's definitely a fall beer, you know, suitable for October and November. Bonfire beer, Halloween bonfire beer. So and I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So if you're still here, uh, throw it a number. Um, so a little bit to top this beer up. So here we go. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at look at the um, look at the thickness on that right on. So. Um, Mm. All right, so yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, so. Mm. Mm. All right, boom. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Mm. Mm. Okay, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. Episode two two hundred and thirty six. So, yeah, I see a few of you already throwing out some numbers there. Um, good call. I mean, it might be like, uh, well, well, we might, yeah, you know, you never know. Like, I mean, hell, fuck. So, anyways, yeah. Mm, mm. <coughs> All right. As I want to remind everybody tonight that. And I, uh, like, all throughout the blogcast, this blogcast is not spam. Not spam. Uh, feel free to share this blogcast all over Facebook. Uh, the audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel. I on Big Jim Blogcast Live on YouTube. So, um, yeah. Shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin group, especially Sarnia Rocks, Michelle. You guys like rock. Um, yeah. Uh, Chain Reaction. Glenn 
McKinnon and the Boys, like, great band, awesome killer kick-ass band. All the uh, retro classic uh, nostalgia pop culture groups. All the uh, hard rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups. All the craft beer, cigars. Uh, Star Wars, pro wrestling, blog spot, classic TV and movies, Rolling Stones, Ricky Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, um, Magnum P.I., Tom Selleck, Amityville Horror. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, now we get... We are getting to our hockey card hero here. Um, Mr. Christian Dvorak. And so, oh, yeah, there he is. There's his hockey card right there. Uh, there's his hockey card. And there's his stats on the back. All right. And so, mm, mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, mm, there we are. All right. So, anyways, our hockey card hero, he was born February 2nd, 1996, age 26 in Palos, Illinois. Six foot inches, 187 pounds. Now, he started his junior playing career with the Chicago Mission uh, H16 and, or U16 and U18 teams. He was chosen sixth overall in the USHL, United States Hockey League Futures Draft in the eighth round and also in the 8th round of the 2012 OHL Draft. Now, in the 2012-2013 season, he plays with the Chicago Steel in the US United States Hockey League. And in the 2013-2014 season, he decides to move to Canada and play for the London Knights in the OHL. So, 2014-2015, um, drafted in the second round of the NHL uh, entry draft by the Arizona Coyotes. He amasses 109 points. April 18th, 2015, he signs a pro contract for your entry level with the Arizona Coyotes. They send him to their AHL team, the Portland Pirates. 2015-2016 season, he's named co-captain of the London Knights by season's end. He leads the team in with like 121, 121 points and uh, helps the Knights win the 2016, 2016 Memorial Cup in Red Deer, Alberta. Now his pro career... November 3rd, 2016, he scores his first NHL goal. August 9th, 2018, he signs a six-year contract extension with the Coyotes. 2018-2019 season, he's sidelined by a pec, muscle, a pec muscle injury. Oh, man, those hurt. Those really, really do hurt. Um, pec muscle injury, which sidelines him, um, which would take months to recover from. Now, September 4th, 2021, he was traded to the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, September 27, 2021, he makes his Canadian debut in a preseason uh, um, game against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Um, in January, he gets injured. He misses two months. When he returns to regular games, he finishes the season with 11 goals and 22 assists in 56 games. And he is still with the Montreal Canadiens. So that is our hockey card hero for tonight. I posted... Uh, a video of his highlights on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. Uh, look for it. That's our hockey card here overnight, Christian Dvorak. And so, there you go. All right. There is there is his photograph, uh, and there is his hockey card with the stats on the back there. Um, all right. And so. Mm. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah, we're having fun here. Boom, it is. All right. Mm. <coughs> it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 236. Mm. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. I've got a good cigar here. It is by the Rocky Patel Cigar Company. Uh, it's Connecticut. I got it at the Riverfront Cigar Shop in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, mm, yeah. All right. Now, mm, mm. before we get to our rock star plane crashes with Rick Nelson, um, mm, um, yeah. So, anyways, I. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, all right. A number of you have... All right, my craft beer for tonight. It's accompanied by um, 
Apple, Apple and State Signature Jamaican Rum. Um, oh, God, got it in my mug here. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, really good. Um, it is pumpkin spice, pumpkin ale spice beer at right? Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. So this has, like, oh, my God. This has, okay, I'm going to top this beer up, okay? And so, hmm, all right, look at that, all the way to the top there. Now, this has, it's a good beer. Hmm. Hmm. It's got cloves, nutmeg, cinnamon, real pumpkin, brown sugar in it, malted barley, uh, and you can taste all that. It's a very, it's a little bit of a sweetness, but there's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Hmm. Um, Mm. It's a definitely a fall beer, Halloween, Devil's Night. It's a bon, good bonfire beer. So yeah, and I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the broadcast. So you're still here. You want to throw out a number, like I see several people have done already. Uh, just you know, type in a number, see if it jives up with mine. All right. So yeah. Mm. Mm. Sorry, Imperial City Brew House. They never fail to disappoint. Uh, they've got re really. They're like a great, like, little brewery in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So. Okay. All right. Fuck, yeah. Okay. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. I know it's Devil's Night. I know Halloween is just around 24 hours away, the actual real Halloween. And kids are out like trick or treating tonight. I posted a sign on my door that just says, "I don't have any candy, so go someplace else." All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, all right. Um, and later on, I've got like six classic horror movies that, like, I uh, I have reviewed. I will show them to you later on. Um, I'm remind everybody uh, right now that this blog. As I do I, all the like, uh, all the time, this broadcast is not spam. The the audio version of Big Jim Blogcast Live will go out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. All right, so shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially like Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, at uh, Chain Reaction. Glenn and the Boys, great band there, great killer kick-ass band. I saw them just this past summer, um, and on a on the Duke cruise too. Never failed to disappoint. Good tunes, you know. Thumbs up, double thumbs up for Chain Reaction. All right, get a chance to see these guys. Go out and see them. So all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups, all the like uh, hard rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars. Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Classic TV and Movies, The Rolling Stones, Rick Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., uh, Amityville, right on. So, mm, okay. Um, all right. So, now we get to our, like, uh, mm, mm, mm. now we get to our classic, uh, our uh, rock star plane crashes here. All right. So... Mm. Ricky Nelson. All right. Few of you know, like, um, who this guy is. I know who this guy is. Uh, he's a singer. Had a music, good music career, film career. Um, unfortunately, he perished in like a plane crash in, in an air in a, in, a, in a plane. Like, died December thirty first, nineteen eighty five, at the age of forty six in a plane crash. Um, now, December 31st, 1985, flying from Gunnersville, Alabama to Dallas, Texas for a concert in his own plane, uh, a Douglas DC-3. DC he paid $120,000 for the 14-seat uh, 1944 Douglas DC-3 plane. It had a history of mechanical problems. So, why, if you're going to go, uh, if you're a wealthy entertainer, Upgrade with the best plane you can you can, you can possibly like uh, get. Um, 
Now, suspected cause of the crash was a faulty cabin heater, which it caught fire in mid-flight. Um, the occupants of the plane were pilots Ken Ferguson and Brad R Rank. Um, they escaped uh, unharmed and survived. Rick Nelson, his assistant Helen Blaine, and, and his five band members were killed instantly. There were rumors of cocaine freebasing. Was that was a rumors allegedly allegedly as the cause of the crash. Now the aftermath. Uh, Brad uh, Brad the pilots were uh, disciplined by the National Safety Board. Uh, 1985, Rick Nelson was uh, was to begin a comeback tour with Fats Domino singing his best songs. So. Yeah, um, this, here's the plane, um, it had like a uh, um, faulty cabin heater, mid-flight, boom, bam, game over for Rick Nelson, Ricky Nelson and his like uh, band. So there's like the, uh, the, here's Mr. Ricky Nelson, here's the, uh, what's left of the, what was left of the plane, so, all right, so yeah, um, it uh, I posted more on that on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So there you go. Rockstar Plane Clashes, Ricky Nelson. Uh, I posted several of Ricky Nelson's songs like Garden Party and um, a few other songs of his um, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. There you go. Um, all right. So. Mm. Do, do, do. I went to a garden party. Ba, 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 ba. Mm. 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 <coughs> oh, I wish we had commercial breaks here on Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236. Sunday, uh, October 30th, 2022. Um, yeah, and so I got a good cigar here. Mm. Plus some gong solos. Banging on the gong. Mm. Mm. It's a rock, mm. Rocky Patel Vintage Connecticut uh, by the Riverfront Cigar Company in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, we will get to like... Uh, Mm. Our classic album in a minute here. I am tonight's craft beer is being accompanied by Appleton Estates uh, signature Jamaican rum. Um, mm. And it's really good. Holy shit! Mm. 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 All right. So tonight's craft beer, and uh, it is called. Pumpkin Sp Ale Spiced Beer by the Imperial City Brew House right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, hmm. Trying it for the very first time. Um, they don't fail to disappoint the Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada here. Um, it's definitely, it's got like nutmeg, real pumpkin in it, cinnamon, cloves, brown sugar, malted barley, um, hops, yeast, yada, yada, yada. Um, I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if you're still here, I see some people have, like, thrown out their numbers. Um, it's all about being intimate and interactive here on Big Jim's Blogcast Live. Uh, it's definitely, like, a, a fall beer, fall-October beer. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, very, uh, no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Very, it's kind of a little bit sweet. Um, mm. Yeah, so definitely like, uh, mm. Mm. so if you're still around near the end of the blogcast, throw it in, I will throw it a number there out of 10. So, all right. Hmm. 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 Mm. Mm, all right. <coughs> mm. 
relight the cigar there. Um, yeah. And so, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Devil's Night. Um, the actual Halloween is tomorrow. By the way, I'm looking at my calendar. Yep, right tomorrow. So, all right. Um, I want to say that, uh, oh, I get, I'm getting ashes all over me here. So, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, um, what was going to say? All right, uh, yeah, I got to start this movie all over again. Um, stop and stop again. All right, mm, DVD video, there we go. So scary, I got to start it all, all over again. The Amityville Horror, there we go. Mm. Menu, all right, so yeah, um, we uh, before we get to our classic album, um, I want to thank everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, uh, especially Sarnia Rocks, Michelle uh, and Al. You guys rock, you know. Um, all the like uh, cha the Chain Reaction group, Glenn and the boys, like uh, you guys, like you know, great little great band there, killer kick ass band. If you guys. If anybody's in Sarnia and gets a chance to see Chain Reaction live, go go see them. They are awesome. Um, yeah, uh, all the retro, classic, pop culture, nostalgia groups, uh, all the crap, all the like uh, hard rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, all the crap beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, all the blog spot, all the classic TV and movies, Rolling Stones, Rick Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Selleck. Um, Blogspot, TV and Movies, Classic TV and Movies, Rolling Stones, Rick Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., Amityville Horror. We are not spam. Big Jim's Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms you're listening to podcasts to. Plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim's Blogcast Live at, on YouTube. So, right on. We're not spam. Okay. So, anywho, uh, yeah. So, mm, all right. And when I give craft beer reviews, I don't go, well, mm, this craft beer is very exquisite and very, I go with my gut. It's got to, it's got to grow on me throughout the whole broadcast, right? So I can't do instant. Uh, it's wrong. So, um, yeah, well, it's a very exquisite tasting beer. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, all right. Mm, mm. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 236. It's Devil's Night, Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Who are you going to call? Da -da -da -da. All right. I got like uh, six horror movies I'm going to show you later on, you know. Um, and so, yeah. If somebody could remind me, thank you very much. Um, yeah. Um, All right. And so. All right, our classic album for tonight. Um, all right, so it is. Yeah, I was dreaming last night like a child. Boom. Our classic album for tonight, it is hmm, Emotional Rescue by the Stones. Good, good album here. Holy shit. Uh, released January or June 20th, 1980. Recorded in between like uh, January and October of 1979 in three locations, Paris, New York, and Nassau in Jamaica. Emotional Rescue is the 17th studio album by the Rolling Stones. Now you got the band. Um, here they are. Mm. Mick Jagger with Keith Richards, Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts. Uh, Ron Wood and Rhythm Guitar. Uh, the late Charlie Watts. All right. So, all right. Um, all right. So, I was dreaming last night. Our classic album. Um, side one, the songs. Also, Bobby Keys plays saxophone on here. So, um, side one, dance. Uh, summer Romance, 
Send it to me, let me go, Indian girl. Side two, where the boys go down in the hole, emotional rescue, she's so cold, all about you. Um, now, the, the lead-off single, Emotional Rescue, um, this starts the rift between Jagger and Richard. Keith hated the disco-like uh, direction Jagger was trying to take the band in. Um, there's a rap, if, I, I posted the video on the blogcast page, my Facebook page. I'll be your knight in shining armor, coming to your emotional rescue on a fine Arab charger. Do, 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 do. It is catchy. Um, the album cover art is by Roy, uh, is by like artist Roy Azarek. He used a thermal like uh, camera that uh, blast heat emissions. So there you go. There's like the and there's the back of it too. All right. Do 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 do. It was like this was the first album. Emotional Rescue was the first album following Keith Richards like exoneration from a truck. Chicago, dr Toronto drug charge that he could have served seven years in a Canadian jail for. So, um, emotional rescue goes from disco to reggae to new wave to rock. Um, you gotta check it out. Like it's a classic. It's a classic album. So, um, I posted like several videos, like emotional rescue and um, she's so cold on my Facebook page, my blogcast page. Um, yeah, so. A lot of these songs on here were uh, left over, rewrites from earlier, uh, rejects from earlier albums they decided to put on here. So, but it's a good, good album. Uh, if you get a chance, you see this in a record store, pick it up. Um, yeah, it, it runs a gamut. Like, it runs from, um, from disco to hard rock to new wave. Um, yeah, for, uh, from reggae to rap. Um, do, 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 all right, so, um, all right, so, anyways, yeah, there's the late Charlie Watts, um, there is the, uh, Emotional Rescue Era, Rolling Stones Era of the band, there's Charlie Watts, Mick Jagger, Ron Wood, Bill Wyman, and Keith Richards, all upstanding fine gentlemen there. All right, fuck. Um, do, do, do. There is a later version of our classic guitar duo, Keith Richards and Ron Wood. Um, do, do, do. And here is a still from the Emotional Rescue video. Do, 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 do. All right. So, yeah, all right. So, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. <coughs> all right so anyways um yeah all right boom all right gong time there all right so now we get to my most favorite time uh in the blogcast is called this week in Van Halen history. All right. So there you go. You've got two versions of this band. The one with Sammy Hager and the one with David Lee Roth. It's October 24th to October 30th. October 24th. Van Halen. October 24th, 1980. Van Halen played the Civic Coliseum in Knoxville, Tennessee. October 24th, 1986. David Lee Roth played the Coliseum in North Greensboro, North Carolina. October 25th, 1985, David Lee Roth holds a casting call from his Crazy from the Heat film in Hollywood, California. October 25th, 1991, Van Halen plays the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, October 26th, 1995, Van Halen plays the Yogi Yogogi Olympic Pool in Tokyo, Japan. 10, 20, October 27th, 1984, Van Halen releases the Hot for Teacher single. October 25th, 1985, David Lee Roth holds a ca or like... Uh, Oops. Um, October 29th, 1996, Van Halen releases Video Hits, Volume 1. October 30th, 1988, Van Halen plays Notre Dame Joyce a ACC in South Bend, Indiana. October 30th, 2007, Van Halen plays a TD Bank North Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. All right. And that is all for this week in Van Halen history.
All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, before we get to the killer, Jerry Lee Lewis. All right. So, mm. okay. Mm. 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 All right, people. I'm going to take a fiver. I'm going to step out for a minute. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. You know. All right. I had to take care of a little personal business of myself. Um, it. Uh, yeah. Uh, too bad we don't have like commercial, actual commercial breaks here. So. All right. Hmm. 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 <coughs> All right. So yeah, um, I had, uh, yeah, like I like I said, too bad we don't have any commercial breaks here. That, that was like I had to take care of a little personal business there myself. I'm not going to get into it, but um, yeah, we're back. Um, All right, it's Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. <coughs> gong time um it is devil's night um we're on the eve of halloween which is tomorrow i don't have any candy so i posted a sign on my uh, on my door that says like uh do not knock i do not have any candy go next door they've got shit loads of candy over there so all right so anyways yeah hmm hmm Mm. All right, so yeah, um, like I said, yeah, uh, it, a good cigar, Rocky Patel, Connecticut, um, from like Riverfront Cigars, and here, right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, all right, hmm. <coughs> Before we get to our rock and roll legend, our dearly departed rock and roll legend, let me say that the Big Jim Blogcast Live, we are not spam. We go, uh, we're, 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 the audio version will go later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. Um, I want to say hi to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, uh, all the Sarnia groups that this posted in. Uh, especially Sarnia Rock, because Michelle and Al, you guys rock. Uh, uh, Chain Reaction, the band, Glenn McKinnon, you, uh, uh, kick-ass band there. Saw the, if, you, if you're ever in the Sarnia or around the area and you want, and Chain Reaction's in concert, go see them. Great band. Awesome band. Um, all the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the uh, hair metal, hard rock, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer cigars. Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, TV and Movies, Classic TV and Movies. And tonight we're going live into the Rolling Stones, Rick Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Sog, Magnum P.I., Amityville Horror Groups, right on. So, uh, our craft beer for tonight, accompanied by, like, uh, Apple Estates, like, uh, Signature Jamaican Rum. Um, damn good beer. Damn good rum. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. The mug here, yes, Big Jim Blogcast Live mug. Um, tonight's beer, it is called Pumpkin Ale Spice Beer by the Imperial City Brew House right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Gotta tell you, um, 
it uh, it's definitely like a sweet, little bit of a sweet tasting beer because they've got nutmeg, cinnamon, real pumpkin, brown sugar in it, hops, yeast. Um, definitely a bonfire beer. Definitely a, a fall beer. Definitely like a devil's night Halloween beer. Um, oh yeah, no unpleasant aftertaste. Good beer. Mm. Mm. And I'm going to give it a rating of 10 later on shortly. So if you're still here, if you, like I said, people have been throwing out numbers on the blog cast. Like, uh, see if your number jives up with mine. Feel free to do so. Type out a number there. Mm. All right. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Mm, all right, so yeah, um, it uh, mm, it's Devil's Night. It's Sunday, October thirtieth, twenty twenty-two. Uh, Halloween is tomorrow. Like I said, I posted a sign on my uh, on my door saying, "I do not have candy. Go next door. Go someplace else. I do not have it. My neighbors have shitloads of candy, so go knock on their door. Got all the kitties watching, you know. So, all right." Um, it's Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236. So, just to remind people of that. Um, all right, so we get to mm, our rock and roll legend. Oh, yeah, Jerry Lee Lewis. We're, um, rock and roll rebel pioneer Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so here's the, the killer, nicknamed the killer. Um, he passed away just this past October 28th. For real, there was a, a hoax. It was an internet hoax, but it found it was a hoax. But now it was for real. Okay. Um, there he is. Um, nicknamed the killer. He passed away October 28th. What, what was that? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Just this past Friday, October 28th, at age 87 in Nesbitt, Mississippi. It was nicknamed the killer. He was best known for his hit songs, Great Balls of Fire, and a whole lot of shaking going on. Played the piano like, like a wild man. Holy shit. Um, what hasn't been said about him that hasn't been said? He has seven ex-wives, um, <clears throat> two dozen gold records in rock and country, two Grammy Hall of Fame awards, one Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award, a 1986 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductee, um, well, he's, a, he's inducted in the Rockabilly Hall of Fame. He's inducted in the Memphis Music Hall of Fame. He's inducted in the Country Music Hall of Fame. He has influenced Elton John, the Beatles, Mickey Gilly, who was who passed away. Actually, this is his cousin, Mickey Gilly. Um, Hank Williams, Travis Tritt, George Thorogood, even the Rolling Stones, Bruce Springsteen, influenced a countless number number of artists. Now, like I said, he was married seven times. Um, it was a great story. He's influenced Elvis. Him and Elvis had a competition. Okay, this was Elvis before he died. There was a great story about him. He, 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 was, at a riot, he was arrested at Graceland, November 23, 1976, for allegedly intending to shoot Elvis Presley. Um, he threw a champagne bottle at the Graceland gates. He was presumably drunk and high, or presumably a drunk off his gourd. Um, Threw a champagne bottle at the Graceland Gates with Elvis watching on the closed circuit TV. He was somewhere arrested. The cops asked Elvis, what, what, what do we do with Jerry Lee Lewis? Elvis just said, lock him up for the weekend. Let him sleep it off. <laughs> that was, uh, I mean, uh, God damn. Holy shit. The movie, great, he, there was even a movie about him called Great Balls of Fire. Um, with like uh, Dennis Quaid. There you go. Um, there's the real Dennis Quaid. There's the real Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh, that was released June 30th, 1989. Of course, his famous cousins, Mickey Gilly. Um, where, all right. Mickey Gilly right there. Um, hmm. All right. Who I paid tribute on to on, on an earlier blogcast. Um, all right. So... And televangelist Jimmy Swagger. You may remember Jimmy Swagger, uh, fallen televangelist. Um, you know, uh, often the like 
I'm not going to get into it, but they're, they're cousins. Like, so anyways, yeah. Um, we salute. I'm going to give like a five bell, five gong salute to Mr. Jerry Lee Lewis. All right. Yeah, and salute him. This is for you, Mr. Jerry Lee Lewis. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Um, that's for you. All right. So, anyways, yeah, and I did post, like, several, like, uh, um, I did post, like, several of his videos, uh, Great Balls of Fire, uh, and interviews from Jerry Lee Lewis on my, like, uh, blogcast page and my Facebook page, so uh, I'll look for it, um, you know, so, same with, like, uh, the Rolling Stones Emotional Rescue, I did post several videos from there on the blogcast page and my Facebook page, so, right on. So, anyways, yeah. Hope we're all having a good time here. Boom. All right. I'll just put these back. Do, do, do a whole lot of shaking going on. All right. There we go. Boom. All right. Boom. All right. So, yeah. Boom. The killer, Jerry Lee Lewis. Um, and yeah, like the, the, the dude's been married seven times. Like, I mean, and he married his 13 year old cousin too. So, um, I, I think that's common knowledge. You know, I'm not putting out like any, like, uh, allegedly or anything, but yeah, um, he did like marry his 13 year old cousin, which considered, was considered taboo back in the fifties. Um, like quite a colorful life, played the piano, like it was going out of style, like do 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 you know, fuck, um, all right, so, yeah, um, okay, the killer shall forever be remembered, you know, cheers to you, Mr., like, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, you know, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, all right, so, mm. um, yeah, uh, I will give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote before I uh, rate the beer. Um, it is, where there is no imagination, there is no horror, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And that's like our Halloween quote, you know, where there is no imagination, there is no horror, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And you remember Sir Arthur Conan Doyle as the, Sher the author of the Sherlock Holmes uh, novels and the character. So, all right. So I, mm, okay, so now's the time. I'm going to give it the beer a rating. But before I do that, all right, so, mm, mm, mm. <coughs> all right, so anyways, yeah, uh, tonight's beer, it's being accompanied by like, uh, by my cigar, uh, Rocky Patel, Connecticut, by the Riverfront Cigar Company in uh, in uh, Sarnia, Ontario, Canada, and plus Appleton Estate Signature Jamaican Rum. Um, it is my final thoughts on this before I give it a rating. It is pumpkin ale spice beer by the Imperial City Brew House in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. All right. So. Hmm. It is a good beer. It is a little sweet. There's no tangy, there's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Um, it does have, I will make you aware of the ingredients, real pumpkin, cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, uh, brown sugar, malted barley. Mmm, good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Goes down smooth. Um... It is a good bonfire beer. It is a good, like, fall beer. I don't see this being in the summer or, or spring or summer. Good fun bonfire beer, October, November beer. Um, and, uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. So, let me... All right. So, I thought, I, I thought long and hard on this. So, um... Mm. Mm. All right. So, anyways... Um, Let's see here. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. Seven out of ten. All right. That's it. Seven out of ten. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Seven out of ten. Great job, guys. Great job. Uh, some people were close. Um, it, yeah. So, but like I said, this is a good beer. It is. It, it does. You can, you can taste the spices in it. You can you can taste the the nutmeg. Um, you can taste the cinnamon. You can taste the uh, cloves in it. You can taste the real pumpkin in it. You can taste the the brown sugar in it. And yeah, fuck, fuck yeah, seven out of ten. So yeah, that right on. So, cheers, Sarnia Imperial City Brewhouse for making great beer. You never disappoint. Mm. Mm. All right, I definitely. Uh, I mean, if it's that time of year, go out and get it. Go out, tell them that Big Jim Blogcast Live sent you to. If you're at Sarnia Imperial City Brewhouse, tell them that Big Jim Blogcast Live sent you in October, November, um, and we and say we want that pump pumpkin ale spiced beer. So seven out of ten. There you go. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, mm. All right, so I got a, let's see, uh, yeah, mm, let's see. All right, so anyways, yeah. Um, all right, so as I, pro I promised earlier, um, I'm going to give you guys my, like, it is Devil's Night. It, it, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. Episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Um, all right. Uh, it is Devil's Night. Uh, Halloween is tomorrow, the actual Halloween. I do not have candy here. I posted a sign on my door saying, like, uh, I don't have candy. Go next door. They have shitloads of candy. So I do not. So don't bother knocking. All right? Okay. So anyways, um... And, oh yeah, so I'm going to remind people that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on tonight on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms where you're listening to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Gen Podcast Live, at YouTube. Um, I want to say, give shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rock, Michelle, you guys rock, Chain Reaction, Glenn McKinnon, the boys, great killer kick-ass band. All the retro classic nostalgia pop culture groups, all the hard rock, hair metal, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, all the Rolling Stones, Rick Nelson, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., Amityville Horror Groups, right on. So, anyways, yeah, um, I've got right here my, uh, I've got the, like, uh, theme, all right, so starting off, we've got It's Alive, all right. There's only, uh, yeah, so, and this is a picture from It's Alive about a mutant baby. That's a good Halloween movie. Um, we've got Kingdom of the Spider starring William Shatner. Uh, 19, before, uh, yeah, that is a good Halloween movie. Um, we've got The Blob with Steve Mar McQueen. That is a good Halloween movie. Um, we've got The Poltergeist. Um, the original version, um, directed by Steven Spielberg, that is a good move, Halloween movie. We've got Dawn of the Dead, the original classic, um, directed by, oh, let's see, George A. Romero, that is a, a good movie, classic Halloween movie. And we've got They Live with Roddy Piper. That is a good movie. And here are the stills. Also, yeah, you got your It's Alive Mutant Baby shit. Um, and plus, we've got, like, it wouldn't be Halloween with me acknowledging, without acknowledging Ghostbusters um, and Slimer. So there's Rick Moranis. There's Slimer. All right. So, yeah. All right, people. Um, all right. Boom. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. 
Trying to light my cigar here. Um, mm. 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 <coughs> this is a riverfront. Well, this is a Rocky Patel Connecticut cigar from Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, it is Big Jim's Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236, Sunday, October 30th, 2022. Um, I want to say, like, T-shirts. Now, many of you have been asking me about T-shirts. Um, all right, so t-shirt, uh, you've been emailing me, you've been like uh, inboxing me, I uh, saying, how do I get a t-shirt? So, all right, so anyways, um, yeah, so if you want a t-shirt like mine or, um, any design, uh, like this one, the, uh, white t-shirt, um, mm, all right, or baseball jersey, hmm with the logo on the back and the front. Um, all right, so anyways, yeah. Hmm. With that, or that, inbox me at Big Jim. They are, okay, first of all, I'll give you the uh, the deets, the details. They are 35 bucks a pop. That includes shipping and handling. Uh, it takes four to six weeks for delivery. I cannot help that. Um, just inbox me or my regular Facebook profile or my other or on Big June Blogcast Live saying, I want a t-shirt, give me your, you know, tank top, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, do that. Um, you know, fuck. Uh, it, uh, yeah, so it would make a great Christmas gift for somebody. Um, and while we're, like, at it, my last blog, this is my second to last, last, last blog gap. My last, my last one for 2022 will be Friday, December 30th. So, yeah. Mm. All right. So. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Mm. All right. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 236. It is Sunday, October 30th, 2022. It is Devil's Night. Um, to all the kids going out there, um, trick-or-treating I do not have candy do not knock at my door go some go next door they have shit loads of candy so yeah my last word um, lately I've been getting advice on like you know what how do I start a blogcast well my advice to you for those budding blogcast like for if you want to go on Facebook live don't be something you're not you know um, don't have any stupid gimmicks you know you don't have to like uh, see I like cigars I like craft beer you know, I, that's my passion, you know? I like talking about classic stuff. That's my passion, like classic rock, classic uh, TV, uh, classic pro wrestling, you know what, classic movies, um, classic pop culture, sports, you know? So I'm not a, uh, you know what, you know, yeah. So, you know, don't, you don't have to have any fancy gimmicks. You don't have to go with your heart, go with your passion, right on. So anyways, yeah. All right, just don't be something you're not. All right. So, anyways, if I forgot anything here, um, yeah, boom, all right, uh, hmm, 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 all right, people, all right, so, all right, people, that is it for me, um, I want to give shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, like, uh, Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, and the classic nostalgia groups, all the hard rock, hair metal, uh, Van Halen groups, all the craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, blogspot, Rolling Stones, 
Rick Nelson, Terry, Jerry Lee Lewis, Tom Suck, Magnum T.I. Happy birthdays going to Tyler William Scott, John Sazek, Stacey Leckie, Dave Rankin, Shannon Foster Dunn, Rick Dahl, Terry Bartley, Sandra Coolis, uh, Michelle Walker, Matt Piskin, Rob Ladenchuk, Kara McKeg, Ron Antimore, Jason Boyd, Linda Elliott, Terry Scott Brooks, Cindy Durston, Shelley Dudgeon, Matthew Kersley, and Emma Willey. We did our countdowns. We talked about the Amityville Horror. We talked about Megan P.I. Season 8, Power and the Glory, Dak Wilter from Empire Strikes Back. Our hockey car hero, Christian Dvorak. Our rock star, Plane Crashes, Ricky Nelson. Our classic album, Emotional Rescue by the Stones. This week in Van Halen history, we saluted a rock and roll pioneer icon. We recently, dear departed Jerry Lee Lewis, we gave you a quote. We did it like a 7 out of 10. Oh yeah, craft beer for tonight. Pumpkin Ale Spice Beer by the Imperial City Brewhouse in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. 7 out of 10, right on. So, all right. Um, our t-shirts, our motivational quote. Our cigar. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <coughs> all right people that's it for me and i will see you friday december 30th all right we're taking a bit of an extended break you know what happy devil's night happy weekend um thank you for ending your weekend with me big jim podcast live version 4.0 episode 236 sunday october 30th 2022 we're not spam the audio version goes out later on these Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms and the podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel. Right on, people. So, the Big Jim Podcast Live. Um, I'm Jim Brown, and uh, cheers, everybody. So, be good and enjoy the rest of your weekend, and enjoy Halloween. Cheers, everybody.